as you can tell, I'm a lot more of an optimistic person than the usual usual Joe or whatever. Like I, I can be negative when I want to be, but I like to be as positive as possible. Like, you know, I I don't like to talk about just the bad things about games. It's like, this is a video game, it's meant to be fun, right? Just feel like people um, kind of nag about the bad things about Sonic games way too often. They People don't, don't uh, talk about the... Um, the good parts as much as they should, I feel. Well done. Because you just told me, Fox Boy. Yep. Whoa. Now, for a little space ride, that will clear the colony fair. I'm counting on you, Tails. Take care of yourself. Farewell, Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. Now this fight can actually be pretty difficult, so we'll see how this goes. Alright. Gim hit. Okay. Okay. Eventually he was gonna he's gonna do a special attack. He's gonna activate it. Yep. Okay, you don't need to shoot, do that twice. Okay, that's not too bad. This! Okay, kill him, kill him, kill him, okay. That laser is ridiculously powerful, so be careful. I'm surprised I did that in one go. Usually takes me a few tries. I'm happy about that at least. Also, I'm flying an aeroplane! That's- <laughs> I'm sorry, that's what I get from that opening there. Like, Knuckles just like... Whoa. No way! <laughs> oh boy. All right, now we're getting to the final Sonic, oh, the final stage of the so of the hero campaign, and it's one of my favorite stages in the whole game. Like this is basically nothing but rail grinding, really, and it's so much fun to play this. Like, there's so many different paths to take. The rail grinding here is so much fun, and yeah, I just love this level. <laughs> As you can tell.
like, I don't know, like, I, I love, like, just grinding on these rails and finding all these different paths you can take and, and getting blown up in the face! Oh, Indiana Jones, let's go. Also, the music's pretty nice. A little bit repetitive, honestly, but still. And I didn't mean to jump off there, that was bad. Okay, I'm restarting. <laughs> Okay, we finally did that. That's nice. Uh, I mean, I didn't have to do that, but hey, I want to. I want to get the points. I want to get the rings. Oh, so this is. Oh wait. Oh, okay, okay, okay. If you jump off like this, you can find secrets. And it's one of my favorite things to do in this level. Like just, it's just so fun to do that. Find secret. Power up, secret routes, all that good stuff. Like, there are diff there are a lot of different parts you can find if you care to look. Like the thing, like this, the thing of this game is that they're a lot more hidden than SA1, which I guess makes them people by default think that SA1 overall has better exploration, which it has more overall as I've said, but it's nowhere near as much as people like as much as people make it out to be. Like SA SA2 has Quite a lot of exploration itself. Um, like you have optional pathways that are inaccessible until you get a certain power up. You have secret pathways where you can jump like this and you find like a secret item or a ring box or a pathway like this or like a shortcut and it feels so good to find them. Like it just, it feels a lot more rewarding in this game. And because you have the point bonus, there's more of an incentive to look for them compared to S SA1 where it didn't really matter. So if I can get the spring, but and jump and go the fast way. It doesn't always let go to a secret, but yeah, like this. That's a really cool secret, but if I do it again, uh, that wasn't high enough. Then I get to a super upper area. I can take a massive shortcut. Again, secrets. They're in this game. It's not as linear as people make it out to be. I feel like Clement in Unleashed where it's like, this game has alternate pathways. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way actually, even though it's like incredibly... Okay, just hit the spring. Yeah, that's very scary. <laughs> I don't usually take that because it's so scary to go that way. Alright. Now I'll go here, and we get Mystic Melody. Basically you see these like little statue things around. Um, basically just press B near them. You'll play a Mystic Melody, and you'll make something appear like random blocks or rings or something like that. They're mainly used for Lost Chariot missions, but they can still open up different pathways, so, you know, look out for them, I guess. 
This is bad. Okay, that was my fault. I shouldn't have jumped down there. Whatever. I'm, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm not gonna restart this time because I've been in this stage long enough. Alright, let's actually uh, get this right. Build up the speed. Alright, there we go. And that's a massive shortcut, but I want to show off the entire level, so I'm not going to do that. Ooh. This is pretty stunning. Worst timing! This is the worst... Um, run of this stage I've ever done. Without a doubt, this is awful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you guys, you guys had to sit through this. Wait, hold on. What if I jump off of this? Nothing. Okay, fair enough. It's actually very easy to miss that. Oh yes, okay, I almost mistimed it again. Anything up here? No, just invisible wall figures. Oh, okay. I don't know what that camera camera was supposed to be, but that was a thing. Yeah. Let's go. That was a terrible run. Woo! I'll be surprised if I get anything above an E. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. No, I, th that's not even the, that's not the stage's fault. Like I was just playing horribly there. It happens. It happens sometimes. You never cease to surprise me, Blue Hedgehog. I thought that capsule you were in exploded in space. You know, what can I say? I die hard. <laughs> you actually saved me, you know. It was a chaos emerald, wasn't it? There's no way you could have activated the chaos control using an emerald that's failed. Mm. So, there's more to you than just looking like me. What are you anyway? I see. But you know, I can't let you live. Your adventuring days are coming to an end. Okay, final boss time. Alright, so the first two hits, I believe you can just spin dash into his backside. Yep. But now, you have to be a little bit more, more strategic. Um, one way is to wait for him to do his special attack and get hit by it like a moron um but let's tr let's try that again but yeah he'll keep on using chaos control um to get ahead of you there we go all right this is the ultimate and yeah they like, people will complain like why did sonic why was sonic able to use chaos control when it was a fake emerald and he only saw shadow use it one use the power once well, I like to see it as a character growth for Sonic, because, like, we, like, it's built up to, like, sh for Shadow to be, like, ultra-powerful, like, the ultimate life form and all that, and then you, it's proven that the uh, power gap isn't as big as, like, we originally thought, and, you know, I think it, I think it's a good character growth moment, personally.
And there's also the fact that Sonic's been using the emeralds for so long now that I guess he's just used to using chaos energy or something. I don't know. Sonic, I did it. Awesome job, Tails. Sonic. And we're gonna. Randomly cut to CG. <laughs> oh boy. Well, that was a pretty good hero story run. I had a few hiccups, and that last stage was a that was a horrendous run on my behalf. So I apologize for that. But yeah, that's it for the hero side story. And I'll see you guys next time for next time for Dark Side Story. See you guys then. Peace. Eggman steals the research from a military base located on an island to the south. The military's top secret weapon, Shadow. Sealed in the space colony park, the Seven Chaos Emerald. When all of the keys have been collected, world conquest will be ahead. Sonic Adventure 2, The Dark Side Story. Long live the Eggman Empire.